Twenty-five years ago, I met a young lady who was overflowing with love and compassion for all those around her. <clears throat> she was kind and courteous, um, generous with her time, and uh, freely gave of herself to uplift people around her. She was fiercely loyal to her family and friends and to her kingdom, but mostly she was willing to share her noblesse, her nobility, with someone such as myself. That young lady that I speak of is standing here in front of Her Majesty's um, for elevation. She's continued to exhibit these peer-like qualities this entire time, and I'm uh, proud beyond words uh, to give, give you these truths as I know them. As I is there a member of the Order of Chivalry who would speak to Ma uh, of Maggie's chivalry? Oh, well, I'm wish for breaking. Majesties, the civil great ones, to the noble and great populace of the Midrunner. I am Sir Brialfin de Reigns from the uh, Kingdom of Trimeris. I am Maggie <coughs> S.C.A. Ma. <laughs> so here we are, many, many years later, and I could not be more proud of this young woman came to my gave her food and drink, and then she disappeared all day. And when she came back, I queried her, what have you been up to? She said, well, I taught newcomers class. I said, what? And I heard of the king's cows. And I said, what? <laughs> <laughs> I brought them home with me. I said, what? <laughs> service all day, Bree. That I was just looking at a steward and a future peer of not just yours, but the known world. Aren't we blessed with so many that give of themselves and honor those surrounding them? I am blessed to have been honored by Maggie's tribute to my household, and I am blessed that she carries part of my lineage, and I am absolutely blessed with the hospitality that I have seen from this kingdom and its people, and I will take my leave by their majesty's will, and thank you for letting me speak here today. Thank you.
have most notable guests. I am Loria, so I <laughs> am Dr. Liana of your Order of the Laurel. This is Maggie's skill as an artisan. Maggie has made an art of service, but she also makes service in art. She is always inspirational, but the most inspiration comes when asked why she studies and performs these diverse arts. Always, it seems, they are in the service of others, grinding flour so others may eat bread, or preparing vellum so others may be properly honor honored with tribal art. This call to service, which would commend her before any order, has not lessened her quality of her art, but instead clearly lifts her spirit and her skills, as well as those around her. There is so much more to her skill and to her character, and for all of this, I commend her to you, Your Majesty. Thank you. And if I might, I have a letter from Mrs. Gillian that I was reading. I'm honored to speak of Maggie O'Donnell's skill classes in teaching subjects from brewing and minting to the history of Ireland and the fiber arts. Her true passion is for the bringing of light to the world of words. Her love, her love for calligraphy and illumination complements her research of pigments and recipes, turning the minerals into, and plants into paints and lakes for the pages. She has shared her art freely with the Midrealm and the Mary of the Middle Marches, having completed over 125 scrolls. Maggie O'Donnell is a champion of the arts and sciences, supporting teaching and learning as service and as an artist as well. For my own part, Maggie, you're great, and I love you. <laughs> There's a lot of things you can do. 
There is a lot of demands on your time. During these times of Maggie's life, she has chose to serve the kingdom. And then there's times in life that wasn't too kind. And Maggie decided to continue to serve the kingdom. I am glad that she's here today, and I am glad that you're giving her wings. So now all can know, there, there is Maggie. charges must learn to fly free on their own. A pelican must know that service, great or small, serves as an example that others will emulate. And a pelican must enrich the kingdom by sharing their knowledge and their skills. A pelican must be loyal and faithful and fulfill most, most faithfully their duties to their baronage and their sovereigns. Their word must be dependable beyond doubt or question. Their service must be an inspiration. They must be generous for all. And always and everywhere, their actions must demonstrate the love of the kingdom and the people in their works and deeds. Now, Maggie O'Donnell, is it your wish to be recognized as a member of the Order of the Pelican? Maggie O'Donnell, right? Right mindful of your service to the society and responsive to the wishes of these your peers. We are resolved to create you master of the pelican, which creature will nourish her young when necessary, the blood from her own breast, and therefore has been chosen as the most appropriate symbol of service to our society. Therefore, will you, Maggie O'Donnell, give us your word to continue to fulfill the requirements set forth for the governance governance of this order as you must surely have until now will you increase your labors nobly increase your talents as befits one of your rank and seek to disseminate your talents and abilities throughout the society do you promise to train any dependents you have may have to serve as you have served Is there a medallion?
Wear this hood as an outward token of your new station. Is there a cap of maintenance? There is. <laughs> Absolutely. Tell you what, why don't you? <laughs> Wear this cap as an outward token of your new station. <laughs> now affirm your service to the crown. Or in your case. Affirm it. Affirm. Okay. I hear from my service out of the middle kingdom to serve the kingdom and society in all things. To remember courtesy and kindness. To prize just uh, justice over personal gain, to labor for the common good, and to enrich the kingdom and the society so they may flourish and grow, and be worthy of the title of pelican. By my honor, my hand, and my heart, affirm I, Maggie O'Donnell. Do we hear and, and shall, shall never forget, forget nor, nor fail to reward that which is given. given. Guilty with love, service with honor, and both breaking with justice. Oops. People of the mid realm, we present Maestros, Maggie O'Donnell, newest companion of the Pelican. Whoa! People of the mid realm, we present Maestros, Maggie O'Donnell, newest companion of the Pelican. Whoa! Whoa! in her service to her barony and kingdom. Runiger Ark, this same one bring forth that was Maggie O'Donnell named and raised, them, raised her to their most noble order of the Pelican, ever to be numbered a peer of the realm and to enjoy all rights and responsibilities upon that rank attendant. Ooh. Wow. For Maestro Maggie, Draco Invictus! Congratulations to you, Tegan. Oh, this is so cool. 